Our next guest is Srimati S. Chandra Priyanga Ji, who is the Honorable Minister of Transport of Puducherry. With a huge round of applause, let us welcome Srimati S. Chandra Priyanga Ji to the dais. Good evening to all. Anivarakum vanakkam. First of all, I would, like, I would like to thank Honorable Speaker of Kerala, who is the hero of the stage. <laughs> I know that I'm handling, we are handling very hard situation and hard time because it is very hard to attend a meeting after lunch. <laughs> and I can feel the feelings of you all. But what to do? <laughs> I have prepared something and let's go. I won't take too much of time. So don't worry, be happy. <laughs> I'm very proud to gratitude my respectful greetings to the Honorable President of India who inaugurated this memorable event. I express my heartiest greetings to all the Honorable Union Minister Honorable Member of Parliament, Honorable Ministers of various states and UTs, Honorable Members of Legislative Assemblies of various states and UTs, and other respectable dignitaries present here. First, I thank my Honorable Chief Minister, Sri Yen Rangaswamy, to give the opportunity for standing before this Forum of Women Legends. Next, I would like to thank the Honorable Chief Minister of Kerala for their hospitality, and arrangement of this historical conference. I'm here to talk about the topic of gender inequality. The Constitution of India has granted men and women equal rights, but gender break still remains. The symptoms may vary depending where we live, but gender inequality is truly a national concern. Despite significant improvement in women's health, educational, and economic contribution. The political leadership over the past decade, the gender gap is equality exists, are worried. Most of the women are unaware of their fundamental rights and capabilities. They, they lack of basic understanding of how the socio-economic and political forces affect them. They accept all the biased practices that persist in families for generation in the name of traditional and societal norms, primarily due to their ignorance and lack of awareness, ensuring equal educational opportunities to girls will help them to get knowledge and to attain socio-economic independence and help them to be rightly equipped to contribute towards their upliftment and that of the society they are part of. As times change, we can see the social role of men and the role of women are being cherished and it is very difficult to question it. The paradox makes us think that men do not seem be inclined to do all the work that women do, except that what is divided into men's job is done by women. It is not enough to speak on the principal level that there should be no discrimination between men and women to implement not only the government, but also the private sector must come forward to give women the same opportunity as men. It is fair that women being given equal opportunities and empowerment through the economy. Thus the economy will also grow. Governments have to ensure non-discrimination in the implementation of policy programs for health and educational employment which are more prevalent among women. We need to increase the opportunity for women to participate in active politics. It may hard to see that when women become more involved in politics and come to power, gender differences became indirect rather than direct. At the same time, as the contribution of women in political and public life increases, those thoughts will disappear on its own within the minds of person who shows this indirect gender differences. I conclude. This with the hope and assurance that the women in power are core source in the process of eradication of gender equality. And guys, and beautiful ladies, wishing you all success in your life 
and thank you thank you for this wonderful opportunity thank you